Jesus Christ saved my life. He saved my marriage. I was a Marine, a doctor, a scientist. I thought I was pretty hot stuff, but I was living for me. That led to relationship problems, financial problems, and broken marriages. And my latest one to Nikki was headed in the same direction. I was sitting on the couch in my office, wondering what to do with my sorry life. Well, there was a Gideon Bible there for my patients. John 3.16 came to mind. I'd seen that on several signs. But God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. I almost yelled out, God, if you're real, show me. He changed my life. He gave me stability. He gave me purpose. The Bible is a living, breathing handbook on how to live. And this country could use some of that direction. You knew me once as the most conservative member of Congress. And not a thing has changed. I still carry the Constitution in this pocket and a Bible in this one. After the Marines, I got a commission in the Navy Reserve because they'd get me to Afghanistan to help take care of our warriors. If a soldier arrived in a military hospital with any heartbeat whatsoever, they'd almost always live. But the same country that can work those miracles can't even get it together long enough over here to put this country back in line with the U.S. Constitution. That's inexcusable. And that's why I need to go back to Congress. I will fight every second of every day for conservative principles. You know that. Too many people go up there with fine intentions, but the place changes them. And we all see the result. Christian, husband, father, doctor, scientist, Marine, Naval Reservist, Second Amendment advocate, hunter, fisherman, original intent constitutionalist. As Madison Project wrote, it is not an exaggeration to say that Congressman Paul Brown has sustained the most conservative voting record over the longest period of time of any sitting Republican in Congress. Paul Brown may not be the youngest or the wealthiest person in this race, but he's the only one you can count on to vote exactly like you would. This Marine won't run. He's the one rock-solid, proven conservative who will bring us light in this time of darkness.